Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Saratoga Race Course here on Sunday. It is the 21st of July, 2024. Going to look at the featured fifth race from the spot, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's look at the fifth race from Saratoga, which is a good one. The fifth race, it is the 48th running of the Shoe V Stakes. It's a grade two event going for a purse of $200,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, four year olds and upwards. Five horses are going 1,800 meters uh, on the main track, or one lap around the main track, which is a mile and eighth in circumference. I love the one horse shotgun hot. He's the top selection. One three four five super. One three four five super. Top selection. One horse shotgun hot. He's five Romero by gun runner. Sherry DeVoe trains. Paco Lopez comes up from the Jersey Shore to ride this horse. The horse's most recent appearance came in the Florida Liz at Churchill, mile and eighth on the 29th of June. Yeah, the horse finished second by a neck that day. He just stalked all the way around the race course. He moved a lot late that day on the inside. He just missed, but he ran his hard at stepping up some, some very tough quality horses. With a very good post right here today, he's got some speed if he wants to use it to get a good position on this track. Going a mile and eighth here today. I think this horse could get a good race uh, off the quick turnaround from last time out to get the job done. 17th of May was the previous race of Pimlico, a mile and eighth in the Allure de Point Distaff. And the horse went by five and three quarter lengths that day. Had a bit of a wide trip that day, but really took off clear from a tracking trip. One in hand that day at 80 cents a dollar with some class relief. That was a very good strong run. And then the grade one Apple Blossom Handicap at Oakland, mile 16, 13th of April. He finished fourth by and a quarter lengths that day was wide and just wasn't really keeping up that day. I think the you know the, the races at Oakland over the winter, this horse just had wide trips prior to that in the Bayacoa back in October, back in uh, February. She finished six by four and three quarter lengths. She just stalked and never had the turn of foot from the wide trip. But last summer at, at Mama Street, was pretty perfect. She won the Molly Pitcher quite nicely from, from um, a bit of a tracking trip, and then one on the front end, the Lady Secret, refreshing here, training well since the last race. I'm going to give her a shot on the ticket. I think the three horse Raging Sea for Flavia and Chad. Brown's your second likeliest winner. Most recently, the horse finished fourth in the Ogden Phipps over this track behind Randomized, where she just was a little bit wide and just couldn't get into it. I think it's a little lesser quality, much lesser quality race than the um, Ogden Phipps, and I think she can find a better trip. She ran terrifically from a tracking trip to win the Double Dog Dare at Keelan off the bench, going a mile 16th, going by three and a quarter lengths, all out the best. That was a very good run. And then last year's Comley, she had to game it out to the wire, but she got the job done winning by a nose that day. Her races, you know, her, her three-year-old form, you know, two-year-old form, she was running against stakes quality horses where she was running okay. Three-year-old form wasn't bad at all. She actually was a winner here going a mile, uh, or placed here going a mile in the eighth last year. Had a decent fourth over the Wilson Mile in their seasonal reappearance. I'll give her a shot back to stakes quality horses. They've been taking her time with this one, but um, it, it's a very good shoe here. So let's recap the selections for the fifth race. The 48th running of the shoe Going to take the one-horse shotgun Hadi. Give kudos to the three-horse Raging Z. One, three, four, five, super. One, three in the multi-race. So good luck to one. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.